You know, it's actually been a hell of a couple of three weeks. So, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, how much I really need a palate cleanser. All things considered, week one, I was running on eight hours of sleep over the span of 72 hours. Week two, I do Geist the Sin Eater, and lo and behold, my bonehead forgets to edit out about 12 seconds of me staring at my screen, reading over my script. And then, I follow up those two weeks by talking about one of my most hated games of all time that completely ruined aliens for me as far as role-playing games are concerned. So, this week, I'm going to take it easy by talking about a game that is one part Japanese schoolgirl anime and one part Welcome to Night Vale weirdness. I don't know what you consider a palate cleanser, but let's do this. This is Kagagane High. a fascinating one. Kagagame High is one of the oddest games I have ever come across due to its acceptance of just keeping everything weird. Keep Beach City weird! My mission? Keep Beach City weird! Taking a strange blend of the podcast Welcome to Night Vale and blending it with a Japanese schoolgirl slice of life anime, the Ewan Clooney creation is certainly the combination of peanut butter and celery. It really shouldn't work or at all go together, but somehow it does. You know, all things considered, whenever I spend most of my time sifting through the shit of the RPG world, it really is nice to come across a game that just says, fuck it, let's smash cars together. For those uninitiated, Welcome to Nightville is a podcast radio style show hosted by a man named Cecil. The podcast dips into realms of surreal, as it adds weirdness and surrealist humor to the everyday, making the mere concept mundane. These gentlemen, you, today is street cleaning day. Please remain calm. Street cleaners will be upon us quite soon. We have little time to prepare. Please remain calm. The City Council has issued a statement in 20-point all-caps type saying, Run! Run! Forget your children and leave behind the weak! Run! And as far as the anime is concerned, it kind of speaks for itself. I know there is a lot of tropes, subcultures, and substances to anime, which this game certainly dives into. However, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of anime, so I don't want to give a bunch of misinformation and then have it blow back into my face from the real anime fans out there. What I will say is this, Kakagame High is certainly a fun experience, and I liken it to an anime that I have seen before called Madoka Magica, that involves the concept of magical girls diving into the strangely bizarre and making it into everyday life. Except I feel like the way that Ewan Clooney does things, it would even make Madoka Magica blush. All things considered, this game is very detailed, and you can see that there's a lot of care put into it that most indie games like this would not put into. There is a deliberateness in Ewan Clooney's writing that is quite good, if Ewan Clooney is your real name. There's clearly a lot of love and dedication put into this game, and you can see that, that this guy really loves anime and Welcome to Night Vale. He certainly did his best in order to blend the two to make them seem cohesive. I mean, as much as you can blend them together. The game does run the risk of mixing a little bit more like oil and water instead of coffee and cream. When it comes to Welcome to Night Vale and anime, the two separate entities seem to be fighting with one another from time to time to vie for time on the page. But overall, there's a strange bit of it that does genuinely work. By all intents and purposes, I can totally see Kagagame High being an anime, so his work is commendable. Plus, the dice system is pretty cool too. Using a D6 system that increases exponentially to the 666 range, as well as using so many tables that it would make Barry Nakazano jealous, the game does have some solid mechanics behind it to back up the pure weirdness of the game. 
And don't get me wrong here, unlike Nakazano, which was pretty much nothing more than algebra tables, these tables are a lot of fun to read and you really get mixed into them. It's an excellent addition to the game. Although there are cracks that sometimes come up. This game does require a certain level of adhering to the rules rather stringently in order to keep the flow of the game going. This can get a little tedious at times. But nothing is more con-worthy than the level of niche that this game operates at. It certainly isn't reaching under my skin levels of unplayability. It certainly is playable by a wide variety of people. Hell, anyone with a passing familiarity with anime can pick this up and generally know what's going on. But man, if you are not a fan of Welcome to Night Vale, get ready to be lost, naked, and afraid. But you definitely should check out Welcome to Night Vale because it's awesome. So where does this game stand? Crit or miss? It really isn't a tough one. The game is niche and can delve into the realms of being more for the creator's enjoyment instead of crafting a great game. But beyond that, the dice system is solid, the concept is unique, and if for no other reason, you should check it out for the unique reading experience. Somehow, being a Welcome to Night Vale fan and not an anime fan, the anime style game that has Night vale and horror in it has won me over. So this game is going to get a crit. With that being said though, it's time to get back to the grind. So next week we're going to be looking at something very controversial, very polarizing, we are going to be looking at Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. I hope you have a good day, and until next time, good night, Internet. Good night. When you're really PC, let's rock. When you depend on me, to give you weapons, 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 we